GA spoilers. Will Jason botch operation find Valentine to spare Anna? General Hospital spoilers gush Jason Morgan. Steve Burton was taken aback when WSB Chief Jack Brennan, Charles Mazur, encouraged him not to help police commissioner Anna Devane, Finola Hughes, track down Valentine Cassidine, James Patrick Stewart, and Charlotte Cassidine, Scarlett Fernandez. Doing so, Brennan emphasized, would only hurt Anna in the long run. After all, she was the one who let Valentin get away from being captured. And they all know it. Will Jason choose to continue working with Anna to secure this win for her? Or will he believe Brennan has Anna's best interests at heart and knows what he's talking about? If Jason goes behind Anna's back to sabotage her efforts, she may never forgive him. General Hospital Spoilers Anna DeVay nans over her trust. Anna has been keen to work with Jason and Damien Spinelli, Bradford Anderson, if it means she will track Valentin down sooner and be able to bring Charlotte home to be with her family at this sensitive time. Ideally, it would have been best to have her home when they thought Lulu Falconeri's Alexa Havens, life was in danger, but better late than never. Anna doesn't want Charlotte to have to be on the run for the rest of her life anyway. But Jason suspects that Brennan is working with Valentin and is intentionally trying to lead him astray from working with Anna because he doesn't want that fact to be unearthed. That being said, Jason has not told Anna of his suspicions about the WSB chief. G.H. Spoilers Gossip Jason Morgan and Damien Spinelli go rogue. Jason has opened up to Spinelli about what he suspects, and we have to wonder why he's keeping it between them. It's not as though he and Anna haven't been in touch and haven't had the privacy to have this discussion. But Jason has worked with Spinelli for a very long time and knows that nothing he says to him leaves the two of them. On the contrary, Anna has been known to take matters into her own hands. If he revealed to her what Brennan said, he knows she may feel inclined to clap back or let Brennan know she's onto him. That's the last thing he needs right now if he wants to actually bring Valentin and Charlotte home. General Hospital spoilers, so much for that friendship. On the other hand, Jason could be off based on Brennan's intentions. Is it possible that he knows something Jason doesn't about the WSB? and how they're looking at Anna for culpability in letting Valentin go. Will bringing Valentin home reveal that? Could the WSB questioning Charlotte put everyone in jeopardy, including Jason and Brennan, for knowing what Anna did in protecting her? If he gets closer to this and starts to believe Brennan is acting from a place of genuine concern, he could botch the whole thing to keep Valentin away which would consequently keep Anna to himself. The room was dimly lit, the air tense with anticipation. Jason Morgan stood in Sonny Corintho's office, his jaw set and eyes narrowed as he studied the file in his hands. Valentin Cassidine's name was scribbled across the top in bold letters, and the photograph attached showed the man looking smug and untouchable as ever. You're sure about this? Jason asked Sonny his voice low but steady. Sonny leaned back in his chair, his fingers steepled. Valentin's gone underground, Jason. If he stays out there, Anna's gonna be in even more danger. She's already too exposed. Jason's expression remained unreadable, but inside, a war raged. He knew the stakes. Valentin Cassidine had a knack for playing both sides, but when it came to Anna Devane, his motives were as murky as the waters of the Port Charles Harbor. Jason didn't doubt that Valentin had feelings for Anna, but those feelings didn't necessarily mean she was safe. If anything, they made her a target for Valentin's enemies. Anna's been through enough, Sonny continued. We need to take this guy off the board before someone else does it in a way that gets her caught in the crossfire. Jason nodded but his mind was elsewhere. He thought of Anna, her strength, her resolve, 
the way she always seemed to carry the weight of the world on her shoulders. She was no damsel in distress, and Jason knew better than anyone that she wouldn't want him or anyone else playing savior. But this wasn't just about what Anna wanted. It was about what she needed. And right now, Jason wasn't sure if eliminating Valentin was the answer. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, Anna paced the length of her living room, her phone clutched tightly in her hand. She had been trying to reach Valentine for days, but every call went straight to voicemail. The silence was deafening, and her instincts told her something was wrong. She paused by the window, her gaze drifting to the horizon. Valentin had always been an enigma, a man of contradictions. He could be ruthless and manipulative, but there was a vulnerability beneath the surface that Anna couldn't ignore. Despite everything, she had come to trust him in her own way. And now he was gone. Her thoughts were interrupted by a knock at the door. She crossed the room and opened it to find Robert Scorpio standing on the other side. His expression was grim, his presence a reminder of the countless times they had stood on opposite sides of the same fight. Robert, she said, stepping aside to let him in. What are you doing here? He didn't waste time on pleasantries. I'm here to talk about Valentin. I've got a feeling your friend Jason is about to make a move, and it's not going to end well. Anna's heart sank. She had suspected as much, but hearing it confirmed was another matter entirely. Jason Woldnett. Don't kid yourself, Anna, Robert interrupted. Jason Morgan is a soldier. If Sonny tells him to take Valentin out, he'll do it without hesitation. And frankly, I can't say I blame him. Valentin's track record doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Anna bristled at his words, but she couldn't deny the truth in them. Jason was loyal to Sonny above all else, and if Sonny believed Valentin was a threat, that was all the justification Jason needed. I need to stop him, she said, determination flashing in her eyes. Good luck with that, Robert muttered. But if anyone can get through to Jason, it's you. Later that night, Jason found himself in the shadows of a Port Charles warehouse, waiting for the intel that would lead him to Valentin. His phone buzzed, and he glanced at the screen to see an incoming call from Anna. For a moment, he hesitated. He knew what she wanted to say, and he wasn't sure he wanted to hear it. But then, against his better judgment, he answered. Jason, Anna's voice came through the line, calm but firm. I know what you're planning, and I'm asking you to stop. Jason didn't respond right away. He turned his back to the warehouse and began pacing. You know I can't do that, Anna. Valentine's a liability. If we don't take him out, someone else will. And it might not be as clean. Valentin isn't just a liability, Anna countered. He's a person. And he's someone I care about. You know as well as I do that he's not the enemy here. Jason clenched his jaw, frustration bubbling beneath the surface. This isn't about whether he's the enemy. It's about protecting you. If Valentin's out there, you're a target. And what happens if you take him out? Anna pressed. Do you think that solves anything? Or does it just create another mess for all of us to clean up? Her words gave Jason pause. He hated to admit it, but she had a point. Valentin's death wouldn't magically make Anna safer. If anything, it might provoke retaliation from those loyal to him, or worse, embolden his enemies to go after Anna directly. I need you to trust me on this, Anna said, her voice softening. Let me find Valentin. Let me bring him in. We can figure this out together. Jason exhaled slowly, the weight of the decision pressing down on him. He had spent his life making hard choices, but this one felt different. This one felt personal. Across town, Valentin sat in a small, dimly lit motel room, nursing a glass of whiskey. He knew it was only a matter of time before someone came for him. 
Whether it was Jason Morgan or someone else, the outcome would be the same. But as he stared into the amber liquid, his thoughts kept drifting back to Anna. He had always told himself that he would do whatever it took to protect her, even if it meant walking away. But now, as the walls closed in, he wondered if leaving her behind had been the right choice. A knock at the door pulled him from his thoughts. His hand instinctively went to the gun, tucked into his waistband as he crossed the room. When he opened the door, he was met with a pair of piercing blue eyes. Anna, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. She stepped inside, closing the door behind her. We don't have much time, she said, her tone urgent. Jason's looking for you. If he finds you, it's over. Valentin nodded, his expression grim. I figured as much, but I'm not running Anna. Not this time. She placed a hand on his arm, her eyes searching his. Then we'll fight this together. But you have to trust me. For the first time in a long time, Valentin felt a glimmer of hope. Maybe, just maybe, there was a way out of this after all.